Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Tano channel. My name is Tano and today I have another uh, video review for you guys uh, from a monitor. And today I'm gonna give my verdict for this uh, ultra wide 35 inch uh, screen from AOC TAG352UCG. So what it is exactly and how it performs, uh, we're gonna check it out in this video. I'm gonna give my rating uh, also for it, um, so you would know if you should buy it or not. And uh, yeah, let's take a small closer peek at this monitor and then let's talk a little bit about it. So yeah, I've been using this uh, monitor for a week or something as my companion monitor on my desk here. I, I mainly use my TV, my 75 inch uh, screen back there. That's why this might look a little bit uh, smaller than it is. It is a pretty huge monitor, I must say. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's been a pretty interesting week uh, using this monitor and uh, playing some games on it and just doing some uh, regular video work, uh, editing my videos and uh, surfing the web. It is a 35 inch ultra wide panel and it does use an AMVA panel uh, for better response time. But of course, as with other VA panels, it sacrifices the colors a little bit uh, for that uh, better response time. And uh, yeah, it also has a curvature, so it is a 35 inch curved monitor. And the curvature uh, rating is 2000R uh, for this particular AOC model here. It also has a resolution of 3440 x 1440. And uh, that all comes with 100 hertz and G-Sync. And uh, yeah, it weighs 6.8 kilograms. Uh, coming to some other things here, the monitor comes with one display board and one HDMI board. And for other connectivity, we have two USB 3.0 boards and a 3.5 millimeter uh, microphone board. But coming to the design of the monitor, I mean, there's uh, hardly anything bad to say about it. It, it does look pretty good on a table and um, has some pretty nice glossy uh, plastic uh, bezels. They are a little bit maybe too thick, but I mean, it, it still looks pretty, pretty good. And also, as you can see, it does have LEDs in it. So yeah, there's a small LED strip uh, on the left and right side of the panel and also behind the panel uh, there are some uh, LED strips and you can of course choose the color. It's not RGB but uh, you can choose from blue, red and green and uh, that's about it for the colors but it does make the monitor uh, stand out a little bit more and of course yeah adds that a uh, little bit extra uh, do it. And also the stand, also really nice, uh, looks great, uses metallic and is minimalistic in design. And it works really, really well with this monitor. Of course, you can uh, run your keyboard and mouse uh, cables underneath it. So yeah, overall really slick here. Also that I loved uh, on this Aegon series is the menu button that you won't really use ever again after one use. But it's a really nice touch that everything is under one button here and it works pretty well. The uh, OST is uh, really easy to use and uh, nothing bad to say there. But yeah, I mean, coming to the overall experience, playing games on it and uh, watching videos, doing my everyday work, uh, browsing the web, yeah. Um, the picture quality is pretty decent, there's nothing really bad to say, I mean, it's a really nice uh, um, curvature and also a really nice uh, monitor for gaming and uh, it gives you this ultra wide uh, view angle and maybe a small competitive edge in games, but the biggest issue that I have is maybe not with the monitor itself, the monitor is pretty good, but uh, the issue is with the ultra wide resolution. For me, it's a, it's kind of a game breaker, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what I mean here. Uh, the monitor has 3440x1440p resolution, so 
pretty nice decent resolution and uh, nothing bad to say there and the games do look pretty good and playing games like counter strike global offensive with the 100 hertz and cheesing felt really good and definitely gives you a, a little bit of an edge uh, playing there but uh, games that are like adventure uh, like I don't know, like R RPG games or like Mass Effect Andromeda, let's say. You kind of take, uh, you kind of get taken away from the immersion, cause you're gonna get introduced to wide resolution cutscenes with black bars uh, <laughs> on the right and left side of the screen, which is ultra annoying. So ultra wide and ultra an annoying for me at least. And the big, and the second biggest thing was, you know, just surfing the web. Uh, every day I watch videos on YouTube, and uh, I mean, if every day I have to watch videos with black bars on the left and right side of the screen, that's why. Why did I? Why did I get the uh, ultra wide monitor? I mean. Anyway, if that's not an issue for you, then yeah, the AOC AG352 UCG is a pretty decent choice out there. It costs around $900 in the US in Amazon at the moment, and around the same in Euros in EU. But yeah, I mean, overall, a really decent design, a really uh, decent performing monitor. The colors are what you expect from a VA type panel. And uh, yeah, overall the gaming experience was good, but for me personally, um, who plays RPG type of games and uh, adventure games that might have some cutscenes in it, those cutscenes are gonna be regular widescreen resolution, so yeah, those black parts, I mean... Oh god, I hate them so much. Anyway, I'm gonna give the 35 inch ultra wide HE 35 UCG on 8.5 out of 10. And yeah, the biggest issue that I have with the monitor is the ultra wide resolution. And uh, yeah, for most games, it's really good. There's nothing uh, bad to say. But if you're gonna have some uh, cutscenes coming in, uh, it just breaks the immersion, if you know what I mean. And yeah, for me personally, yeah, I'm gonna stick with widescreen uh, monitors, uh, 4K or something like that, or 8K or 16K, but ultra wide, yeah, not my thing. But overall, the monitor itself is really decent. Anyway, that's gonna be it for my video review here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment down below, and definitely, if you haven't, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be seeing you soon in another video, guys. Now, I did receive a 240 hertz screen. Uh, recently so yeah videos from that incoming anyway thanks for watching right now i'll be seeing you soon so yeah ciao for now